What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be looking at a Shopify blog versus a WordPress blog here. So it's going to be assuming that you have a Shopify store and you're deciding whether you should be creating your blog in the Shopify platform or versus creating a separate blog in a subdomain or a different domain using WordPress. So we're going to go over the different pros and cons here through the setup, design, customizability, as well as the SEO. So make sure you stay to the end of the video as we cover some really good criteria. Also, if you're enjoying any of the content along the way, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below as it really helps the channel out. So we're currently on the road to 2000 subscribers here. Before I dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to come with a 15-day free trial and there's a link in the description below. It's going to allow you to skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your business. And I'm just going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Discover ProfitCalc the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. All right, so let's dive into the details now for Shopify blog versus a WordPress blog here. So the first one I'm going to go into is just setup. And so in terms of setup, Shopify is going to be dead simple and much easier here. Just WordPress is going to require subdomain linking or a new purchase of a domain. And so if we go into our Shopify store here, if you want to set up a blog, you just head into the online store section, expand that menu, head over to blog posts. And if you want to add a blog post, it's as simple as hitting that add blog post button, give it a title, write your blog post and set it to publish. And just like that, you're going to have a blog here with published posts. So it's going to be really quick and really easy. And if you're starting out here and you want to test the blog to see if it works, or you're going to be writing only a few articles, Shopify blog is probably the best way to do it as it's extremely simple. It's also going to be included in your Shopify plan. So there's no need to buy a new domain and set it up on a different website. It's going to make things really easy. So we want to go into how to create a WordPress blog here. So this is using Bluehost, which is a web domain provider. So you're going to sign up for Bluehost, set up a domain name, install WordPress, log in and write your first blog post. And then you can start changing design, adding different plugins and setting that up from there. So overall, not too much more complicated, but it is going to require extra steps, especially if you're linking a subdomain as it's going to require different IP linking. Overall, definitely possible to do. It just really depends where you want to be spending your time, especially at the beginning, if you just want to write a few blog posts first, or if you want to set up a separate website. So next, let's dive into SEO here. So if you're using WordPress on a new domain or a subdomain, it's going to be harder for SEO as you're going to be starting either a new domain from fresh. So it's going to have no ranking, no backlinks, and it's not going to have been around for very long. Or you can use a subdomain, which has different ranking abilities for the website. If you're not sure what a subdomain is, so if we go to the anatomy of a URL, we can see the protocol. Number two would be the subdomain part. It's going to be dot the actual domain name. There you can see subfolders following that. They can be easier for organizing a website content, boosting SEO and domain authority. And so a subdomain's authority won't also trickle down from the primary domain. It's going to take more work to manage that blog separately to make sure you're providing posts for it and improving the ranking of that subdomain there. So again, it's going to take a little more knowledge of SEO here and how to manage a subdomain, which can be a little more work. But if you're planning on building a bigger blog, that's going to rank highly for quite a few keywords. It may be better to use WordPress there. It's going to give you more control on that front versus just using Shopify. We will look at things at speed. So speed is going to be built into Shopify here. It's going to be extremely fast out of the block. Whereas WordPress is going to give you more ways to control the Technio SEO and you have to do more work on the speed front, but you can't get it to be the same. So again, this is really going to be an argument of simplicity versus customizability for SEO. If you want more technical control, you can use plugins such as Yoast, which make it really easy to set up your SEO rules, add a different content for SEO, and make sure your content is SEO optimized. So that is a free plugin too, which can make things super easy. So if you have knowledge of SEO and you're willing to put in the work, a WordPress blog might be better for your Shopify store versus using Shopify itself. Next, let's take a look at versatility here. So we'll look at purely just apps and plugins for Shopify versus WordPress. And WordPress has over 50,000 plugins here. So WordPress is a huge platform and powers a large portion of the web. And so there are thousands of plugins related to blogs and how to write effective content and how to boost your content, organize your content and make the customer experience better when users are reading your blog. So a lot of optimizations there where Shopify only has around 300 apps or so related to blogs. So if you're in Shopify, adding items such as interlinking in a table of contents can take much more time versus WordPress as there are already plugins for it. So it's something to keep in mind here. So again, it's going to be the argument of simplicity versus customizability 
and WordPress definitely wins on that front. Next, let's take a look at design. Shopify is much more restrictive. You'll need a landing page builder to really give you full customizability on your blog post, whereas WordPress has thousands of themes built for blogs here. If we take a look at the WordPress theme store and we just search blog here, we can see there are so many themes with different looks and feels and layouts. They really give you exactly what you're looking for in terms of your blog. And you can make styling easy out of the box. Now, there are tons of really good Shopify themes that include really good blog themes as well. And there are some apps that give you further customizability, but in terms of overall design options, WordPress definitely has more there. So in summary, if you're looking at a Shopify blog versus a WordPress blog, we've mentioned it several times in the video, but it's really just gonna be a argument of simplicity versus customization. So on the Shopify front, if you're new to blogs or you don't want to put as much work into the customizability of your theme, how the blog looks, and you're looking just to create really good content to provide to your customers, whether that's educational or a marketing front, Shopify is the way to go. It's built into the Shopify platform and it's very easy to use. We just have videos on our channel covering how to set it up, so make sure you check those out as well. If you want to use WordPress, you get way more customizability in terms of how you manage the SEO with different plugins. There are way more plugins available for blogs and there are a ton of themes available to give you the blog design you've been looking for, but it's gonna take more work in terms of setup and managing as it's gonna be separate from your original domain. Overall, both are great options here in terms of building a blog as it's really just gonna come down to the content that you write. So is it gonna be good content? Is it gonna be informative, educational? Are you just gonna stay reading the content? Or are they gonna share the content? That's gonna mean much more than the platform you use. Just keep that in mind there, as it can be easy just to spend a lot of time on the setup and the design of your blog. When it really just comes down to content at the end of the day, Google wants to see that users are staying, reading, and sharing said content, and that's gonna increase your rankings on just that aspect alone. So this concludes the video on a Shopify blog versus a WordPress blog. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I want to mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc, again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. There's a link in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.